Okay, Abhishek says 25 is the correct limit for title tag. All right, anybody else? So guys, we have just started. We are doing a recap. All those who have just joined in. So what character limit is allowed for a title tag? When we are creating a title tag, what is an appropriate character limit? Abhishek says 25. Anybody else? Guru, Dhruv, Shubham, do you remember? Do you recall that? So Shubham says 9 to 70. All right. Anyone else? Dhruv, Guru, if you guys want to. All right, so Shubham says, sorry, it's not that. Okay, maybe you're uh, coming up with something else then. All right, how much meta tag description is uh, recommended when we're doing an on-page? So guys, whenever we do a session, you can surely go ahead and uh, do a recap by watching the recorded sessions. So under 150 for meta description, absolutely. So uh, under 156 to be precise, so absolutely, Shubham, you're right. It's under 150 characters. So I'm just letting you know how can you go ahead and get to know about the videos. So whatever sessions we have, we go ahead and get that up. So this is the URL, guys. I have shared across the URL for the videos for whatever sessions we have. I go ahead and upload that across. I upload that across on this particular YouTube channel of Digital Marketing Parshala. You can go ahead and subscribe to that. All right. So all the videos we have named them as per the dates and as per the topics, they are very much there. You can see it does say what is this video all about. It's all about on page. So you can go ahead and look into the on-page optimization video. You can look at the how to make LinkedIn ads video. I've got the thumbnails up, so I've shared the URL with you guys. That is something which you can do in case you want to go ahead and uh, recap everything. All right. So next thing is how do we get to know about broken links? Did we speak about broken links? Did we speak about copy scape tool? So broken links is another thing and Search engine friendly URLs. Did we speak about that? We did in the on page optimization. How do we represent a space between two words within search engine URLs guys? So if there is a particular URL which has been created for a website, how do we depict a space between let's say I open a website. So I'm asking a few questions just to uh, get to understand whether you re recall and remember what we have studied so far or not. So let's say, you know, this is, these are the two words, kids and toys. Kids and toys are two different words. The way to depict a space between two words is with the help of an hyphen. Hyphen is something which is recommended, right? Okay, let's get started with today's agenda, which is off-page optimization. I hope all of you would religiously go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, reconsider or refresh things up, you know, revise everything by going on to the videos. I do give you the overall uh, facility to go ahead and refer to the recorded videos. I, I'm here by sharing the link of the recorded videos once again. All right. Now, on page optimization, one, yes, uh, last time we also did a, a Google Analytics uh, overview. And this time we're going to start with off page optimization. What do we understand by off page optimization, guys? So what is the difference between on page and off page? Through says backlink. Absolutely. That's what off page is. Anybody else having backlink says Nitin. All right. Welcome to the session, Nitin. Great. So what else do you can think of when we talk about off page? How do we get these backlinks created, guys? Anybody? What is the actual meaning of backlinks? So by uh, living links to others website. All right. So let me give you an example. Okay. I have someone by the name of Bluebird. All 
All right. So Dhruv says she sharing link of our website to other websites such as forum, Facebook, and all that. Absolutely right, Dhruv. She wants to say links that connect back to our their own website. Absolutely right. So I hope everybody reflection on third-party website. Absolutely right, uh, Nathan. You're uh, all of you have said that right. Now. What off page and off page is all about on page as we have seen any changes which we do on the website is all about on page optimization. Help me with the example guys we spoke about I just write down things which we did uh, covered in the on page. We started first with keyword analysis right with an on page. Then we did a keyword or a URL mapping. Right so we did URL mapping. Then we also uh, spoke about certain tags and these tags were title tag. Then we spoke about the meta tag description. Right. I'm just writing that down in the chat window. Then we spoke about all tags. What are all tag guys? So these are all things which comes under on page optimization and with the these are the things which we make uh, changes. We do changes on all these tags in order to get the optimization of a website strong enough right so Dhruv says image absolutely Shubham says all tags are read by search engines for SEO right and they are confined they are uh, very much in line with the images like Dhruv said so Abhishek says Google reads the all tags absolutely and these all tags are they are connected to the images I hope everybody recalls that all tags are connected with the images Right. I have someone by the name of Bluebird. Can you hear me out properly and let me know your exact uh, name, please? Right. So uh, I hope everybody is on the same page. Then after all tags, then there are header tags. How many header tags guys are uh, allowed maximum on a web page? Another question. How many header tags are allowed maximum on a web page? So we uh, spoke about all that when we were taking. All right, Aditi, you can change your name. Thanks a lot. All right, so uh, header tags, when we talk about the header tags, how many header tags we have spoken about that? How many header tags should be there in a particular up to six? Absolutely right. Shubham. Up to six header tags we can have for a particular web page. This is also we have done in the past in our session in case you guys know about it which which is good in case you don't feel free to go ahead and uh, recap everything by watching the video. So all those who have just joined in let me tell you I keep uploading up all the sessions on the YouTube channel. All right and this is the URL in order to go ahead and get the access to the videos. All right to the recorded sessions. Now comes in after all tags header tags title tag meta tag description. We spoke about internal links. What are internal links guys within the uh, on page optimization? We spoke about cross linking or internal linking. Anybody. So we're just simply doing a recap guys. A recap is very much important in order to make sure that we all are reaping in the benefits of whatever we are studying over here. So till the time you don't remember that it becomes a lot much difficult to get value out of the entire course guys. Shubham says uh, links that connect other pages of the same website. Absolutely right. Does everybody recalls that uh, internal links in case you have attended my previous sessions you would definitely be knowing about that internal links are a link from one page of my website to another page just to give you an example I the overall blog post which I have taken in my example I'm going to open that only. So if I have one uh, you know one of the web page on my website has got certain content and within that content there is a hyperlink being created and that hyperlink takes me to another page of my website. Let's say I go to the blog of my website which is your creation CA. I go into the blog part and underneath blog this was the first blog which I had taken as an example for doing on page optimization. All right Santosh you have joined in the we haven't missed much we are just still doing a recap. All right this was the 
example a blog post which we have taken and this was one of the text which was hyperlinked okay the text which was hyperlinked a link was created when someone opens that it takes the user or the reader to another page of my same website of the same domain you can see it's only yogreations.ca so when somebody clicked on it in a different tab this page opened up and this page also belongs to yogreations.ca only so this was internal linking which we have spoken about internal linking helps overall in on page optimization another question since we are doing a recap help me in understanding what is this text called guys which is made clickable the text which is made hyperlinked which is actually hyperlinked or made clickable what is that text called anchor text absolutely right santosh so we were missing you there had been plenty of questions which you missed no problem right so absolutely it's a it it is called anchor text the text which is uh, clickable is called an anchor text right and now let's say this is another text guys which is an uh, uh, which is anchored right a hyperlinked text which is hyperlinked is called an anchor text the first one was an internal link which since it was taking the user to another page on the same domain now comes in this particular text if i open this if i click on this and open uh, the website which will op uh, which is linked to this particular text it's a different website this is my different website what is this process called what is this particular link called this was an internal link right which is taking me to a different web page now what is this link called now this is not taking me to another page of the same website of your creations what is this link called anybody so that was internal link this one was internal links it was it was taking me to the internal pages of my website and this is called absolutely right aditi says that aditi you can mention in a uh, uh, public window also so your actually uh, comment went into a private chat so it's called a prior external link or it's also called an outbound link so santosh says that right aditi says that right thank you so much so aditi is by the name of bluebird over here all right so that's called an external link and this is what we are going to cover today if we get a lot of backlinks right for our website you know let's say today i've got five different websites which are referring back to my website which is your creations website then it is going to help me in overall optimization further once we are done with overall on page optimization then comes in off page a couple of more other things we covered in the on page was robots.txt does anybody recalls what robots.txt stands for what is this particular uh, file all about why do we use that so i know it's 15 minutes up i'm still doing the recap so santosh says yes all right so i would like to listen what is your understanding right so santosh says sitemap and robots absolutely these are the two ones so shubham says it helps uh, what to be indexed and what to be not absolutely right shubham that's a very great answer by google right so robots.txt is a notepad file which we create and give a particular command in that and the command which we provide over there helps the google helps the search engine to understand which page should be indexed and which page should not be so nitin says to instruct search engine robots how to crawl absolutely and dhruv says that crawler so that the crawler should not crawl our private files or maybe files which are we are not looking at to uh, crawl upon absolutely i hope everybody recalls that all right so robot sitemap alt tag meta tag uh, header tags creating search engine friendly url all these things were covered guys in the uh, on page optimization now comes in uh, off page optimization let me give an example of how what off page optimization is today these are the things which we are going to cover so we'll uh, off page optimization in other words is called link building on the all right so link building getting backlinks or off page optimization they all mean the same it's very much like uh, getting votes for your for your website so let's say all of you after attending today's session you go back and start uh, you know you take your website and uh, or maybe within your blog you take either your website or a blog start writing something on your blog that today you had a, a, f- a session from nick watla and he had dip- he had actually told us about on page and off page and within your blog post 
you somehow give a backlink to my website, right? Let's say to my nickbutler.in website. This is my website. You give a hype, uh, hyperlink or an anchor text back to my website. Now what happens when you give that, this website of mine gets uh, much more credibility in the eyes of the search engine. In other layman terms, I'm getting uh, votes for myself. You know, all of you have given a vote back to me. Google is going to consider this as a as a uh, as a positive thing you know it is considered as positive thing because uh, so many of people so many people are actually talking about me now we will talk about how do we get these backlinks for our website and make sure that the overall optimization happens in positive note all right so uh, we'll speak about link building at a class what is the overall framework and we'll detailed out all those platforms through which we get backlinks so what are these votes these votes are uh, so uh, aditi you can uh, type that out in the uh, public chat also so these votes are like backlinks you know i'm just uh, saying votes because it's easy to understand so if somebody gives me a backlink you know what uh, your creation state one of the web page of yourcreations.ca has given a backlink to uh, my Nick Patla website. So this is like a vote only. This is a vote from yourcreations.ca to the nickpatla.in website. You can say either a vote or you can say either a backlink, right? You have given a backlink, right? To uh, from one website to another. Does that make sense? Did I answer your question, uh, Aditi? Let me know. All right, so, okay. So we'll detail out all these tactics, all those websites from where we get backlinks, uh, which is social bookmarking. There are web various websites which are uh, which helps us to get a backlink, and one of them being a social bookmarking website. Then we have social network uh, networking website, and we have Google Maps listing. We get backlinks with the help of various content, and some of the websites are like directory submission. So I'll detail out each and every, and then each and every uh, platform and we'll show you practically how do we get backlinks from them. All right. The very first thing, like I did tell you, a backlink or a vote, that's how overall, overall off-page optimization works. So link building is all about increasing the number of uh, high quality and relevant inbound. So high quality and relevant, it's like, let's say this is my website, Nick Watla, all right? Each one of you start uh, posting in something and give, give back a vote or a backlink whatever you want to name that a backlink is called a vote right you give a back uh, backlink to me it becomes an inbound link for me right if this becomes an inbound link for me i am getting incoming link right and it will become an outbound link for each one of you you are making a link to go from your website to another website the visitor will move right it's towards the outward side and for for me it's an incoming or an inbound link now search engines take that as a very effective uh, way to uh, evaluate which website should rank on the top and which website should not. A website which has got a lot of relevant inbound links is going to get uh, much better rankings. This has been seen websites with great number of backlinks and that too from relevant websites. Uh, they are the ones who rank on the top. Even if you start to diagnose various websites which are ranking on the top, they've got much better backlinks as compared to other websites which are ranking way beyond on the 50th page or the 60th page or whatnot. All right, so that's a framework guys of off page. We get backlinks from social networking websites. Just for an example, if today I start typing in the URL of my website of Nick Bartla website, if I'm trying to optimize that, I paste the overall uh, overall URL of my Nick Patla website on many social uh, networking sites, whether it's a Facebook page, I create a Facebook page of mine, or I create a, a Twitter handle, you know, a Twitter profile or a Google Plus or a LinkedIn or a YouTube and whatnot or an Instagram. From all these websites, if we are trying to promote a lot of pages of our website on status update, on Facebook status update, by the help of Twitter, uh, share you know or the tweets which we are sharing across all that is going to help in creation of backlinks you won't get to know whether this has helped in some way or the other till the time you measure the overall ranking 
So keep on building backlinks and keep on measuring the overall ranking which you have achieved for your targeted keyword. You will always see that with the help of backlinks which you're creating, the uh, overall keyword ranking, the ranking of your website on particular keyword is improving. So Shubham says, but Facebook and all don't pass their juices, they helps in other traffic building. All right, uh, this is a common myth, Shubham. Many people say that, that they don't pass the juice, but it's not the fact. It is happening. See, uh, the engagement part does get measured, and uh, this was a thing of past. If you have, this has been seen very effectively, websites with great number of backlinks from Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and all that, they do, uh, when you get backlinks from there, they, you do get a lot of, uh, not just the traffic, but a lot of boost in the search engine rankings also. This is tried and tested. I am doing, uh, you know, optimization for so many websites of mine, and I've seen that. If I am trying to get, uh, you know, I'm looking at uh, achieving higher search engine rankings, I would start, uh, I have seen uh, results coming out after getting backlinks from social network, networking websites. All right, similarly, we have guys, we get backlinks from the help of video submission sites. When I say video submission sites like YouTube or Daily Motion or Vimeo, if you know, I mean, YouTube is the most renowned one. Whenever, if you can create videos and upload that across on a personal or a professional, you're, if you have a business or you are uh, doing it for a client, then if you can go ahead and create a YouTube channel for your client and upload videos there. While uploading videos, make sure that you go ahead and submit across content. You submit content with the videos when you're submitting across, all right? Same is the case with bookmarking. Now I'll tell you what bookmarking is, guys. Uh, let me share with the video path first, video path, all right. So this is my video YouTube channel. Let me show you practically how the overall thing works like. All right, so I'll just log in to my YouTube account and show you how the video thing would work like. So I'll just log in. All right, so I have 188 subscriber at present. 90 videos for this particular channel. I would go on to my channel. And let's say this is one of the videos. I've got 62,000 uh, subscriber and 484, sorry, 484 subscribers, 62,000 uh, views overall. If I take I can go ahead and upload a video from here. All right, so I don't have a video right now to upload and share. I would take an existing video and show you. Let's say if I take this video, within this video, whatever video I upload. All right, so this, is the on, this was the on-page video. I can go ahead and edit that info and settings. All right, so you can see uh, the title. We can do on-page optimization for the videos also by having the title tag, by having a description right over here, and certain uh, keywords I can mention. And plus over here, I can go ahead and mention the URL. All right. So once I do that, uh, I go ahead and save the changes. It's taking some time in terms of saving the changes. All right, I believe it has been done. I can go ahead and make changes to other things also. I can get a backlink with the help of annotations also. 
So within my description, guys, now a backlink has got created. If now I'll open my web page, so I can go back to the videos. So when I go back to the video for the to the same in the same video, now what I would see, you can see a backlink has actually got created, right? When I open this from YouTube, I'm getting a backlink for my main website, right? My main website opens up uh, after clicking onto the link right up here. Pretty easy stuff, not much of a rocket science. That's how you create a backlink by creating videos and submitting it across. I am also helping the overall optimization. I cannot go ahead and create uh, anchor text, guys. Anchor text is something which is not, uh, uh, you know, available. Okay, now this is a new feature which I can see. Remix this video. All right. Okay, that's with video optimization, getting a backlinks with the help of a video op, uh, profile. Next comes in is creating backlinks with the help of bookmarking. Okay, let me tell you what are bookmarkings, guys. Okay, I uh, would try to ask you a question. Let's say 20 years back when there was no internet, 20, 25 years back, and we just had, in terms of gaining knowledge, we just had hard books. Even today we have hard books and we do read from them. But let's say uh, if we don't have the hard uh, other digital space and we just have the hard books, if I'm reading a hard book today and I'm on the 52nd page, okay, I'm on the I'm reading on the 52nd page. Somehow the doorbell rings or uh, my phone, I receive a phone call. I have to all of a sudden stop reading and uh, attend uh, that person who has actually come on the door. Okay, now what would I do in that scenario to make sure that whenever I open that same book again, maybe after a week or so, I should get to know that, yes, I was on the 52nd page and I have to read from there. What thing do we used to do, guys? Anybody who wants, who remembers, who wants to. So Dhruv says, put a pen or something. Absolutely. You used to put a pen or Nathan says, page fold. Absolutely. Or keep a pen. That was called, this overall activity was called bookmark, right? Book was, bookmark was all about making you remind i hope everybody has got the question and what i was talking about in case wherever you get a doubt guys any doubt or any query feel free to ask me all right so by folding page or by keeping a pen or something we had bookmarked we had uh, made it easy for us so uh, that whenever we visit that same book again maybe after a week we should get to know that yes we were on the 52nd page this was a offline bookmarking okay now in the digital space if i am reading something today let's say i'm reading this particular page only okay which is about local seo and how to make your local business rank higher on google today if i'm reading this and somehow i'm not able to read the entire thing i can uh sunil says record the address of a website yes you can record it you can go ahead and copy this and maybe store it in a file or something, right? You can do that or otherwise you can bookmark it. Absolutely. So Dhruv says you can do a control plus D, which is a bookmark. Absolutely. So a bookmark thing happens by going on over here, which is this uh, star icon. I'll show you again. If I want to bookmark this page and want to read this thing again at a later stage, I would go ahead and click on star icon and take a folder so if i have a folder right now let's say related to this i can go ahead and create that if in it's if in case it's not there let's say i create a bookmarks underneath a bookmark folder i create local seo okay if i want to read more about local seo i am sharing this i'm bookmarking this link tomorrow after or let's say after one week or so i want to open this page again I would go to a different tab. I would open a new tab. I would go to the bookmarks from here. All right. I would go to the bookmarks. I'll scroll further down. And the local SEO is right up here, right? This was the thing. I would go ahead and open it. Now, what has happened? The page which was bookmarked, that will come up again over here, right? This is the same page. 
Now, how is this very much related, guys, to SEO? Let me show you that. Now, this bookmark, guys, was very much restricted to this particular browser, right? This browser, which is Google Chrome browser, and that to a particular laptop which I'm using. If tomorrow I travel somewhere, okay, I travel to a different location, I don't carry my laptop, I won't have the access to those same bookmarks. That's why, because of this overall disadvantage that I cannot have access to all my bookmarks from anywhere or uh, anywhere, then the social bookmark came in, came into the place. One of the very renowned social bookmarking website is delicious.com. There are plenty of ones, right? So, right, Nitin bookmark from settings, absolutely. So, delicious.com, then you have dig.com, stumbleupon.com, right? Pinterest, Tumblr, there are plenty of websites. So, I just type in name of uh, some of them, delicious, dig, stumble upon reddit yeah stumble upon reddit dig absolutely these are some of the websites which helps you in doing uh, overall uh, bookmarking now what happens with bookmarking social bookmarking to be precise i can create a username and password for myself right i have already done that i have signed up on delicious.com when i have signed up i, have, I can open my uh, overall social bookmarking profile and I can take, let's say I take this website, all right? Or maybe the same page, which is this. I take the same page. I go ahead and bookmark it by clicking on add a link. I click on add a link button. I submit the URL, all right? And then I go ahead and click on add link again. I click on add link. This is going to get bookmarked. I can mention the title, how to make your business rank higher on google that's a title which i go ahead and type and in terms of title tags i can write in local seo rank higher on google these kind of tags i can go ahead and comments if i want to write in something so i do it personally for my website when i'm optimizing it i go ahead and save it now what happens when this bookmark gets saved you can see it comes up over here when Google crawler will come and crawl this particular page guys you know this particular bookmark link which has got created will also be crawled Google crawler will see this and see this as a backlink which has got created for the your creations website page guys for the your creations website page this particular link uh, becomes a hyperlink or backlink for them now, your creation website is getting a backlink now from delicious.com. A backlink has got created. Similarly, it can be done for other various social bookmarking website. I hope you got that. We were talking about creating a backlink, guys. We have created a backlink for your creation's website from delicious.com website, which is a social bookmarking. Now, there was one thing which was uh, uh, useful for the end customer that uh, for me, I am bookmarking something. If many people like me, bookmark my website, my overall optimization will get uh, stronger. So all in all, if my content is really great, you know, if the content on my website is really great and people want to bookmark it and save it for future, uh, then they, they would keep bookmarking it. More the number of uh, people bookmark it, the better it is for me, right? So have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, have great content up for your website. That is number one. And if you have great content, you will attract a lot of people to bookmark your web page, right? Another thing with the bookmarking website, you can see that 11 people are following me. All those 11 people who are following me would get to see my book link, uh, bookmarks, right? All the bookmarks which I've done so far, they are very much open with others. The browser bookmarks were not open. The browser bookmarks were just private. These bookmarks are public in nature. Anybody who is following me on this particular site, will get to see this. It's very much like, you know, somebody following a particular page on Facebook will get to know what all that page is typing across, right? So that's with social bookmarking. There are other websites like, uh, I'll just open dig.com also. So with dig.com, it's pretty easy. Uh, with every social bookmarking website, we have to see, uh, look out for a particular button which says, submit a link or uh, add a link or such kind of words. So for dig.com, it's very much hidden at the bottom, 
I go uh, way at the bottom and you would see submit a link button. I would go ahead and click on submit a link and I would take the same URL and I would go ahead and submit that across. This is, uh, I mean, the dig thing I've done. I can go ahead and sign up also over here on and create a dig.com profile, right? I already have a profile right up here. I can access my uh, digs, you know, which whatever uh, bookmarks I have done so far. All right, so I haven't saved anything it says, all right. Similarly, there are other websites which helps us to get uh, backlinks, guys, like StumbleUpon or Reddit. I would open StumbleUpon.com also. So this is a continuous activity, guys, which is needed in order to go ahead and uh, get the off-page optimization being done perfectly. All right, so I'll just go ahead and create an account on stumble upon i think i already had that in past but let me just go ahead and create a fresh one so this has two benefits right one is that i go ahead and create a okay i'm not going to do that it's going to take a lot of time so stumble upon i'm not doing it you can go ahead and look for various social bookmarking websites in this math manner list of social bookmarking sites 2015 does have plenty of uh, websites which you can get hold of all right yeah so if i scroll further down within this you can see delicious.com stumbleupon.com reddit.com plenty of websites digo.com they all are bookmarking websites you can go ahead and keep optimize keep submitting across your website pages each and every web page should be submitted across on all the bookmarking sites in order to and it's a continuous activity guys all right so Abhishek says we have submitted a link without signing on dig.com yes how can someone access all right that's a great question Abhishek so how can someone access that link in future without having an account so without having an account is not the thing I was already uh, signed into this you can see it says sign out I'm already signed in Actually, I was already signed in. That's why I was sick. So if I go on to uh, settings part, you can see my name is already right up there. Right? So I was already signed in. It was not showing. It was not showing that uh, my my username is this and my username is that. But somehow uh, I was I was signed in. Till the time you don't sign in, it won't help you. It won't let you. Great question, Abhishek. I I really appreciate that. All right, so I hope everybody is clear on, uh, so Harshika says, how many sites are required for optimizing? If you can do it for as many websites as you can, it's good. The overall in overall terms, it is very much dependent on your competition. If your competition is doing, creating backlinks from thousands of social bookmarking on other websites, then you probably might have to do more than thousand, right? So the frequency which your competition is uh, taking at, at which your competition is growing their SEO campaign, you would have to supersede them. If your competition isn't doing anything, you might not have to do even a single thing. The entire internet marketing industry is based upon the competition only. Even with the SEM social search engine marketing, the price of a particular keyword for which you're trying to optimize, uh, rank your website, the advertisement which you build, the price for a particular keyword is also dependent upon the competition. Similarly with SEO, with search engine optimization, in how many websites you, to, you should go ahead and uh, submit your website is again a, a close factor dependent on your competition. You can check for how much uh, time your competition is spending on that. And uh, if your competition is doing quite a lot of stuff and you're not able to supersede them, then a lot of optima submission is needed. Sometimes uh, the competition is too high that you have to take help of uh, hiring a couple of resources. You are not individually able to do it yourself. You would need a couple of more people to go ahead and keep uh, building links for you, right? Keep building uh, content for your website, keep building uh, links for your website. All right, so that's with social bookmarking, guys. That's with 
video optimization also more and more number of websites uh, more and more number of uh, backlinks from social bookmarking more and more number of backlinks with the help of video optimization is going to help you santosh says some of the old websites are automatically have high rank all right some of the websites which have automatically high rank is because of their overall uh, uh, credibility which is which has got built this is a true fact this is a fact that so a website which is there in the industry for the past 15 years or 18 years they are given preference by the search engines which is absolutely right without doing much but they have to still they still have to do uh, some of the other activities whether it's with in terms of creating backlinks or having great content if they have great content they will always given preference just consider an example today you uh, you know uh, you maybe a uh, a market which is very next to your uh, school uh, you know your office or very next to your uh, residential your, your residence you see uh, a particular shopkeeper in that market for the past 15 years and you uh, get to see someone who has opened a fresh shop over there you know a very a very uh, new shop and uh, both of those uh, are you know right in front of you you have to buy in something they keep the same product and all everything you will always tend to have some preference toward that particular individual who has been there in the market for for quite some time because that person might have built in the credibility so older websites always have an upper edge there is no uh, i mean that's what search engines do that if you if a particular website has been doing things right they will always get a benefit with that or the older your website domain older your website better it is All right. Next thing, guys, comes in after social bookmarking is directory submission. My pleasure, Santosh. So, with respect to uh, directory submissions, there are various websites like uh, which helps you to uh, submit across. Demos is one, absolutely. So, I'll take some uh, very renowned ones rather. Yeah, Yahoo is another one. So, let me take uh, India Mart or Just Style or Sulekha or Ask Me. these are very famous uh, business directories guys or if i say very specific industry related uh, directories like zomato if most of you would have heard of the heard of it this is majorly for those uh, people who are into the restaurant business so if you have a restaurant you can simply go ahead and submit across details about your restaurant within this particular uh, review and a directory site so it it is it acts as a directory plus also a review website so this is for restaurant businesses uh, people who are into restaurant business then you have trip advisor which also acts as a directory only for all those uh, businesses who are into the travel domain so if you have a hotel if you have a, a sightseeing thing or what not and you are into the travel domain trip advisor is a great website where you should go ahead and have your listing up how do we get a web, uh, listing up is pretty simple either you contact the overall guys you know the customer support team of trip advisor or uh, there would be either a link to actually go ahead and register yourself as a merchant with these websites pretty renowned websites like uh, india mart or just style or sulekha or askme.com or yellowpages.com if you remember yellowpages was the very first thing which came into existence so we used to have those bigger huge uh, heavy uh, you know hard uh, hard directories which uh, which were printed right we used to put, uh, i mean if we used to hold them we can either we can i mean they would used to be like very heavy like 2 3 or 4 kg uh, heavy right similarly these uh, directories got digitized and everything was has got and has got uh, we've got access to them in the internet space so let me show you with an example let's say if i want to get a backlink from a directory name india mart i can simply go ahead and uh, click on join free submit my mobile number and my phone number my email address and website address pretty simple guys uh, all this all these off page optimization techniques are pretty simple all you just need is a junior seo and a content writer if you want to do it yourself it's it's no fault but let's say if you are planning to go ahead and uh, uh, you know join a particular agency or uh, you plan to uh, run your own agency then you would need just a small kid who can act as a junior seo and then you need a good content writer who can write good content and 
uh, this good con the entire content can be submitted on the social media website or the social networking uh, book, social bookmarking website or the in or these uh, uh, you know uh, directories or business listings the junior SEO would just keep going ahead and sign up on all these websites one after another after another there are plenty of them so can we learn how to create content uh, see creating content is a different skill set altogether Santosh so uh, very sorry uh, for creating content there might be uh, other sort of uh, courses which more maybe I can recommend yeah but uh, with respect to this is uh, actually all about I can tell you what how what all uh, recommendations what all inputs which a search engine optimization expert should go ahead and give it to the content writers right so I yes absolutely I can I can recommend you certain courses uh, where you can go ahead and learn more about how to write uh, content so uh, but content writing is something you know which uh, comes in automatically I would say uh, if you try to express things on your own if you are very creative this is a creative skill set altogether right I you won't find many digital marketers to be good content writers I I have never come across and great content writers there are very few who actually try to turn into uh, digital marketers very few great content writers uh, want to always remain uh, okay Harshika says can we use article spinner I won't recommend you uh, Harshika because that is considered to be a uh, overall uh, yeah these are available on the internet and I won't recommend you to actually use them reason being uh, they're considered to be a black hat SEO technique yeah so if you can write great content it would be much better otherwise uh, article spinner is I won't recommend all right so uh, so like I told you you can just simply go ahead and join it and just to give an example how somebody who has got their business listed up how they have got it uh, how they have got a backlink from here so if I click on building and construction and click on let's say building and developers all right all right what is this builders and developers so I go ahead and click or click on builders and developers not sure why it is taking time so India Mart website is probably taking time I'll just go ahead and close the other tabs Strange India Mart is taking time. All right, here you go. So whatever uh, websites or whatever organizations who have come in and got themselves registered with India Mart, even a free listing that helps you to and submit across your website URL as well. When you submit a website URL, you get a backlink, guys. Let me show that across to you. Right, so you, I would just go ahead and click on a different option altogether. Not really sure why it's taking time. So let's go ahead and click on hospitals and clinics or maybe gyms and fitness. Okay, I'll just take another example. So I open indiamart.com. I'll just go ahead and close the other one. So I go further down, I click on hardware and fittings. All right, so let me try for another time. I think some some problem with the
Okay, guys, I'll take another uh, way. I open justile.com. So if I try to search in something, let's say real estate agents. Yeah, I can see uh, there is some problem. There was some problem with, I believe, the India Mart website. So for this particular thing, or even if I type in, let's say digital marketing courses. All right, so when I type in digital marketing courses in Delhi, you can see that is number one. So uh, my listing is right up on the top. I am getting a backlink from here as well. So when I go up here and my website URL would be, okay, somehow it's, when I click on this, or a strange my so my website URL actually should come up over here and once the website URL is there I get a backlink which means I am getting a backlink not really sure why the website link so maybe they they have hidden that part Okay, I, I'll just move ahead. I'll just move ahead. I believe uh, all of you have got that. Not even India Mart is opening up perfectly fine. So let's say if, if I take zomato.com and for one of the, so let's say I go into the North Indian cuisines, choose your location. If I say I'm from Greater Kailash and the very first one, the very first uh, listing which is right up here is this Chehel Pehel thing. You would see uh, the website URL will also be there. If the website URL comes in along with your overall posting, you get a backlink. Strange, why is the website URL not appearing? All right, not really sure why the four backlinks are not coming in, guys. Backlinks are very much there and pretty easily to access. Okay, I'll just move ahead. Maybe uh, at a later stage, this is going to come across. Just giving it a last shot. Strange. Okay. Forget it. So I hope the concept is clear. If we try to get a directories listing up and within the directories, when we are trying to submit across our URL, it would help us to get a backlink. So whether it's a video submission exercise or a bookmarking thing or with the help of social networking. Now I'll show you how the how do we get backlinks with the help of articles and also with the help of press release submission sites. Now, what are press release? Any idea, guys? What do we understand by press release? So there are various websites. So what do we understand by a press release? Anybody who wants to give it a shot?
so press release or press journal says Harshika absolutely these are new sites absolutely and where we get to know so majorly yes these are new sites only right so Shubham says official statement given by an organization Harshika says forums example absolutely Abhishek says article written or recorded by news channel absolutely so let's say today if my organization has come up with some sort of uh, information which is uh, you know which should be the part of the news any piece of information in my organization which should be part of the news then I would go ahead and I can straight away let the entire world know about it by creating a press release and sharing that press release on various press release websites press release submission websites just to give you an example prweb.com is one of the great websites so prweb.com or you have pressweb.com So this is PR.com just to give you an example what uh, needs to be done by going on to these various press release submission sites we need to again do the same stuff which is join them jo join them and create an account and get our content writer uh, create a press release now press release is only going to be about any special update about my organization if I have launched a new product or a service or if I have registered certain profits or if there is any other, uh, let's say, a new, a great uh, uh, person joining in my organization, you know, somebody who's a renowned personality and or any other new outlet I am coming up with, these kind of things should go ahead with uh, within the press release, any specific news. And if they are being uh, created by the content writer and the junior SEO goes ahead and uh, submit them across on these various websites, which are press release, they would help us to get backlinks. Let me show you with an example how a web press release looks like. So if I open the first one, which is MetLife Stadium 1. So this is the first one, which is MetLife Stadium receives NFL golden logo. You can see in the last, you have the entire thing, which is mentioned over here. The entire content is uh, typed across over here and we scroll further down it does say uh, to download videos and images please go on to this particular video uh, particular uh, url now this url which is mentioned over here has become a backlink for this website ubsports.com ubsports.com uh, is using this measure of press release submission creation and submission in order to get a backlink now all of you when you would be trying to get uh, I mean, you would be working at any other digital marketing agency or you would be working uh, for, for yourself for getting, uh, you know, search engine optimization being done for any of your client. Press release submission, let me tell you, along with uh, directory submission, along with social media marketing, along with social bookmarking works quite effectively, guys, quite effectively. You can see this was the website, which is ubusports.com which is trying to get their optimization done perfectly. They have got a backlink with the help of PR.com. Similarly, there are various other sites, guys, uh, like the PRweb.com or the PR.com. You can simply go on to Google and check for that. So, so it does say, uh, meltwater.com is another one so you'll keep getting plenty of them so here you go there are plenty of press release submission sites like PR Canada big news PR USA press release .org, free press release new press release you can open all of them and start submitting across whatever new website new stuff you have to share across you can simply go ahead and open them and get this up. 
All right, so you can see uh, that's how they have done it. I mean, there are plenty of press release submissions. Press release. Okay, so Shubham says, any news gone through press release, right? Content can be same. All right, great question, uh, which Harshika has come up in. So let's say if I have got a press release created and I am trying to submit that same content onto, let's say, these 40, 50 different uh, press release submissions, so rather there are plenty of others, 140, that is not considered good, uh, Harshika. So uh, I would recommend go ahead and change the wordings at least. Change the wordings, uh, just rephrase the words. It won't take more time. If you already have a bunch, you know, if you already have the entire content in place, you just need to go ahead and change, rephrase the entire words. If you rephrase the entire words, uh, that will work effectively. So Jitin says, can these also called as PR article aggregators? Yes, these are also called PR article aggregators because they also supply to other press release sites also. Absolutely right, Jitin. You 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 got that right. All right. So another uh, thing, along with press release submission sites, which is very similar to this in order to get uh, backlinks, is called article submission. Now article submission is uh, something. My pleasure, Jitin. Uh, article submission websites are something like very much like press release submission sites only. The process is same. I'm taking care, taking an example of one of the article submission sites, which is very popular called eZine articles. I'm sharing the URL within the chat window. eZine articles is uh, the most popular article submission site. And the way we go ahead and upload press release on press release submission sites and the way we go ahead and upload uh, an article on a pre article submission sites, it's similar. You go ahead and do the join part, click on join and uh, create an overall profile. You would have to mention your email, password, verify the password, first name, last name, address, straight, uh, postal code, country. They would go ahead and you can also mention your website URL. When you mention your website URL when, within your profile also, you try to, you get a backlink. You will get a backlink from eZine articles. And the major difference between press release and article submission sites is the kind of content. The kind of content uh, which is there, no problem Guru Prasad. Uh, so uh, the content which is there on press release is majorly in uh, news related stuff and the kind of content which is there up for the uh, article submission sites are more educative in nature, more educative. You can write anything to everything to anything. Let's take an example. So if I uh, click on, let's say, one of the category, which is internet and business online, or let's say these are the recent articles. I'll open, I'll just open one of them. So mobile apps to make job searching easier. This is one of them which I've opened and the other one which I'm gonna open, let's say 15 perfect foods for summers your kids will love. These are, you can see from the headline itself, these are more educative, right? You are trying to educate the end customer about certain 15 foods which your kids will love in summer, mobile apps which will make your job easier. What are the steps to naturally whiten up your teeth? These are educative stuff. If I want to educate myself on something, I can read these articles and the search engine optimizers, uh, experts, go ahead and write these articles or get them written from the content writers and get them uploaded across on these websites. There are plenty of article submission sites. This is one of the very first uh, article guys, which I have uh, clicked on mobile apps to make job searching easier. I go further down. You can see the content is right up here. It's divided into different uh, chunks. You know, this is one great thing. And one, this is, once this is being written, one of the major keyword would have definitely been used at least at a 1% keyword density. I believe I've already spoken about the keyword density. You can see another great thing about the content is that you have a small heading and then some brief about that. Another heading, then you have small brief. So you break up the content into smaller pieces and you can see the backlink which is getting created is just a couple of backlinks. Financial advisor recruiting firm is the anchor text over here. So the text which is hyperlinked over here, which is called an anchor text is financial advisor recruiting firm. This might be one of their keyword. So let's say if I take this keyword, I copy this across, 
I do a control F and I do So let's see how many times it's appearing. It's appearing only once, all right. So financial advisor is coming in a couple of times. And there can be other keywords also which they have tried to use it. Financial advisor and recruiting firm, let's say. All right, so the recruitment thing is coming in money number of times. No, this is something else. All right, so there would be some other keyword in that case. You can just, you would have to read the entire thing in order to get to know what keyword has been used multiple times, right? You can see this is the firm Rhino Search Group, you know, which has got a backlink with the help of this particular, uh, with this particular overall article with this overall article rhino firm has got a backlink created on this particular keyword if i try to search in let's say financial advisor recruiting firm i try to type in within google let's say i would try to see whether the rhino firm is ranking somewhere right now or not i type the same keyword Okay, this was the keyword I believe. Yeah, so I type this across and press enter. And the website was Rhino Search Group. Now what I would do, I would do a control F just to check with the Rhino Search Group. Okay, it's not ranking on the first page for me. I can go ahead and check on second page. I can do a control F. It's not over here as well. I can make changes to my search settings to get this process done very easily. On one of my search result page, instead of 10 search results, I can make it to 100. What is this? Okay. Yeah. So I go back to Google again and I type in the same keyword, which is financial advisor recruiting firm just trying to see whether this website has done something in terms of achieved some ranking or not because you would always see the word which is taken as a anchor text that is the one where the website ranks generally so I take this word which is Rhino and let's see whether this ranks up or not I do a control F and okay it's not there in the top hundred Oh, it's the, my settings hasn't joined, changed yet. All right, no problem. So that's how you can go ahead and check for the rankings also, guys. If I check it on the seventh page, I can do a control F. Okay, it's not there. No problem. So that's how you get a backlink with the help of article submission sites also. Uh, the only difference between article submission and press release, I, I told you, is the kind of content. This is more educative and that is more uh, news kind of a stuff. You can again get list of Okay, this was the other article, guys. Uh, the other uh, piece of article again: uh, 15 perfect foods that your kids, will, which are, uh, for summer your kids will love. Keep scrolling for down further. You will see this is the keyword. This is the anchor text on which the hyperlink is being given by them, right? So the hyperlink is given across to this website, Camp Walt Whiteman, CampWalt.com, right? So campvault.com is trying to get itself optimized and rank in on top on top uh, for this keyword, which is overnight summer camp. All right. So that's with getting backlinks from article submission. And with article submission, another thing is you can get to know about the list. Again, in the same fashion, you can get to know about various article submission sites from here on the web, on the Google. Make sure you try to use uh, just effective article submission sites, which are known in the industry. 
I'm sharing the URL of a particular website. So about the content, it should be different. Absolutely. Again, it has to be different. Absolutely. So you can say design articles, one of them, designwriter.com.au, coarticles.com, so forth and so on. Right? Plenty of uh, other ones. And then comes in. Uh, okay, these are some more. All right. So let me share that across. Right. Okay. Great, Rahul. Great. You have joined in. That's good. So these are the overall uh, article uh, ways to get the backlinks up. Now the next one comes in after the bookmarking video we have covered the articles and within the content part, the articles and press release comes in. Let me show you how do you get backlinks with the help of blogs and social networking. I'll uh, make you understand that with the help of a case study only how Domino's have actually done that. I'll make you show that. So I've taken a case study in that. So, okay, next slide guys talks about the overall content optimization and seeding. So like I was telling you, I can't really teach you how to create content, but I can tell you what all uh, instructions to be given to the content writer, right? What are instructions to should be given to the content writer in terms of creating the content? Let content writer know that content has to be unique. It should not be copied from somewhere and should be well written. When we say well written, I mean, go ahead and dissect it further dissect it the way we saw that for the article submission sites it was very much in shape one point and then some more content another point uh, you know and then some uh, more content around it so if you can dissect it it's pretty great and then comes in uh, this point which says uh, develop schedule for creating fresh content if today which is on let's say you are we are sitting on 12th of september if we create a content calendar in place for the next 15 days, let's say from 15th of September to 30th September, it's freezed today on the with the overall confirmation from the client side that it makes our job overall easy. The way I do it practically, guys, is I simply go ahead and submit, uh, you know, uh, send across an email to my client saying that please share across certain um, you know, topics or certain things which we want us to uh, share within the content in the next 15 days. The client send us, sends us like sometimes five uh, topics or 15 topics or 20 topics. We take that and my content writer creates content around them. Whether the content is for the article submission sites, blog sites, or the content is for the social media sites also, you know, the status update, the tweets and all that. We go ahead and write that across within an Excel sheet. Let me show you that Excel sheet. How does that look like? How I have uh, dissected it. So I'll go on to Dropbox. All right. So I have SEO leads. And yeah. All right. So this is one of them. Uh, that's how I have created content for one of my client the way i have done that the way i have created content uh scheduled content is in this fashion so let's say this is for the facebook updates for the facebook updates uh, i have mentioned for 14th of april at nine o'clock uh, this particular content is what we have mentioned across to the client within the calendar then for the 15th at this particular time at three o'clock for 14th it was at 9 a.m then it was 3 p.m. for 15th, then another time frame for the 16th. The uh, overall URL which will go is going to look like this. Similarly, for 16th, for 17th, for 18th, for 19th, for 20th. So we keep doing that for, let's say, for another 20, 25, or 15 days, whatever you want to do it. Similarly, for tweets, we create the calendar. Similarly, for LinkedIn updates. So whenever you have to, uh, if you guys need this particular uh, Excel sheet, I can definitely share that across with you. Just, just email me across. I can share that across with you, right? So this is one of the content calendar in case you guys need that for uh, working out on certain campaigns. So that's how a content calendar looks like, guys. I hope everybody has my uh, email ID in case you want to or you are connected with me on WhatsApp. Yeah, sure. So just uh, email me across and remind me. I'll reply back to your email for that. 
or maybe whatsapp me guys all right so whatsapp or email me and the next thing comes in write for both search engine and users guys now what what happens generally all those search engine optimization experts whenever they are running a seo campaign they simply go ahead and start writing content uh, by keeping the search engines in mind you know when i say by keeping the search engines in mind what happens they just forget that they they are writing content for the end users and they simply go ahead and embed a lot of keywords which is not at all uh, recommended you should first of all see from the end customer point of view whether it's making sense or not whether it's delivering value to them or not right so sure rahul just just send me an email i'll reply back to that right so so uh, let the content writer know that please write things for the search engines and also for the user keep both of them in to consideration the next thing comes in ensure keywords uh, are fitting in naturally i've already spoken about that 1% keyword density and uh, okay yeah keyword density thing also break up large content into smaller chunks i have already shown you and ensure all content is fully readable right so uh, it should not be that smaller text or bigger text and all that stuff i've already told you about the press release next thing comes in all these are off page optimization activities where i've told you about the social bookmarking already shown you social bookmarking shown you the article submission also shown you the directory submissions and business listings which are the same right then i'll show you how do we get backlinks with the help of blog creation and social networkings and map listing now forget about the blog commenting part guys because this is more or less considered to be a spam these days many people what they do in order to get backlinks they go ahead and start commenting on various other blogs other uh, blogs which are owned by other people now google has started considering uh, this thing as to be a spam thing if you are uh, commenting on a particular blog post with a link of your website then you are some sort of spamming so don't don't uh, stick to this particular activity guys don't go ahead and comment uh, do the blog commenting part i'll change that I'll, i need to change that so blog creation and customization and google map listing okay let me share, first of all share with you the google map listing first of all i would like to know from each one of you have you ever tried getting your uh, either your residential address or any other business address for any of your client uh, part of the google maps have you ever tried to get uh, your overall thing on google maps all right so what is black hat and white hat absolutely sure i'll i'll take that guru all right so santosh has tried that anybody else who has tried the yes says shubham all right anybody else all right so whenever we open a map guys let's say i open maps.google.com i've got my uh, business registered on google maps listing if i do digital marketing patshal if i enter that across i go ahead and search for it you can see it thus shows me one of the listing which i have got in place and this comes up right over here right this is one of the business listing you can see similarly sikkim manipal university is very much near to that so i am somehow getting a backlink you know my website is getting a backlink from google maps also from google maps so shubham said then you can verify your address by sending letter absolutely right shubham so i'll come on to that so you can see shri hari hospital divan diagnostics and uh, access bank atm plenty of other websites plenty of other businesses have got their uh, you know listing right up across and they all are getting backlinks for themselves rishab engineering company uh, mamta bakers or p krishna wood of phone store what not and so forth and so on right so how do you get that up how do you get that listing done for either for your client or for yourself by going on to google.com forward slash business this is another way guys which is going to help your business or your client's business all right so i already have that in place 
So let's say if I want to get a new one, I click on google.com forward slash business and click on get your page. This is the first thing guys. When I click on get your page, I can go ahead and uh, choose what type of business is it? Is it a brand or a service or a storefront? Let's say I type in a storefront, okay? And I say that I have opened a restaurant, okay, by the name of Nick's Restaurant. I do a search and I get that there are three overall businesses which are present over here. I don't own any of those three. I want to submit across my own business listing. I would go ahead and click on add your business. I click on add your business. And when I click on add your my business, I would type in the details. Pretty easy stuff again, right? Uh, not much of a rocket science. I would enter the address, U city, pin code, blah, blah, blah the phone number, the category, once I go ahead and submit, what Google will do, Google will send me a post email, guys. A post email uh, would be sent across to my physical address, which I submit here. To my physical address, the post emailer would be sent and I would open that emailer, I would open that mailer, which would come on to physical to my address. I would open that and there would be a verification code. I need to submit across that verification code and my listing will be up across for that particular address which i punch in there right and with the help of that we get a backlink as well right so guru says i did that and i got a letter as well wow that's great guru that's an awesome thing right i remember yes you were part of one of the off page uh, optimization uh, class earlier and you did try that's that's great to know so yeah, so social networking is another thing which I want to showcase and also the block creation and customization. All right, let's move ahead. Now this is about creating a back. This is how, you know, uh, Domino's guys have done that. What Domino's have done in order to get a backlink for their main website, they created a different blog. So they have their main website, which is dominos.co.in. Now they want to create a backlink for their website. What they did, they have got uh, they've got a different web page a, a blog page being created and within that blog they have created certain content which is about dominoes with they talk about dominoes free bite deal they created a blog by the name of uh, food delivery restaurant.blogspot.com so food delivery restaurant.blogspot.com has got no relation with dominoes.co.in right nobody knows about that Within the free delivery, food delivery restaurant, they talk about plenty of other things, about uh, various other foods, various other deliveries and all that stuff, which all uh, restaurants deliver food and all that. One of the blog posts which they have created, they have created around the Domino's thing and they got the content up and couple of text which you can see over here have been hyperlinked. Online ordering page and buy uh, one, get one free offer. This is the another text. So one text and another text which has been made anchor text and backlinks have been created. So creating blogs uh, is pretty easy guys. If you know how to do that great. Otherwise you can explore blogspot.com or you can also explore uh, wordpress.com thing. So you can create word on wordpress.com or on blogspot.com. You can create uh, blogs. It's a, these are pretty uh, easy resources in terms of getting backlinks created. And Guru, I'll take your question absolutely after we are done with the off page, the white hat and the black hat. All right. All right, so let's move further. The bookmarking part, I've already told you about how, uh, this is how Domino's have got that. They've got their website uh, bookmarked and they've got the, uh, book, uh, a backlink for their website with the help of a bookmarking stuff. And this is how Domino's have done that in terms of getting a backlink from an article optimization, article submission site. So they created a backlink, uh, they created an article on growing popularity of ordering food online, right? And they have submitted that and you can see uh, two to three different uh, words have been created. So uh, any new website can also do this. It's not just, uh, you know, Domino's, if I'm taking an example of Domino's, it means that only a bigger brand can do it. Anybody can do it. Whether if I create a website today, I start doing a keyword analysis, I choose 
certain keywords for which I want to go ahead and optimize my website and I will go ahead and do off page for that. Absolutely. I can surely go ahead and create articles and submit that across for my new website also. Right. So that's how Domino's have done that. They are pretty old, but still uh, whether it's a new or an old website, you can go ahead and do it. And you can see uh, this is how they uh, Domino's have got their backlinks with the help of the Google Maps listing. So what is exactly forums? OK, the forums uh, are forums and blogs. I'll tell you there are two different places where you get uh, the content. I'll, I'll show you an example of forum. Absolutely. So you can see uh, what Domino's have done. Domino's have created. Uh, they've got their couple of outlets registered on Google Maps and got getting backlinks from there. And if they have, let's say, 50 different outlets within New Delhi NCR, they should go ahead and to uh, reap in the benefits of those uh, brick and mortar business, right? Their brick and mortar presence should get converted into uh, the backlinks, right? The backlinks which they can get with the help of maps listing. If they have 1,000 uh, outlets within India, they should take and then and they actually do it. I mean, these people are actually doing it. They're getting uh, the reaping in many uh, benefits from that. Now, what is a forum? I've got a question. Let me show you a forum and a blog differentiation. So if I open, let's say, dmpartshala.com, I have listed, I've got a forum and a blog both on my website. So I'll just go ahead and close these. All right, so I'm opening. So you can see a forum has been given. So forum is used for discussion, absolutely. So forum is absolutely uh, used majorly for discussion purposes. I've got a job portal in place. I've got a blog also in place. So I'll open. Forums is like if I uh, if all of us are part of a forum, and today if I type in something, you know, that I want to know about such and such thing, I create a thread. I create. I start a conversation. You know, if I start a, uh, absolutely board reader is great group, right? So forums is used for discussion and board reader is one of the search engines. So uh, you can see I first of all, when I, you know, uh, I initiated this uh, these forums within objective of asking people to go ahead and submit their queries over here. My overall students were actually going ahead participating into various uh, discussions. So if I open, let's say this Google AdSense one, or maybe I open the search engine optimization discussion forum. So yes, you can get uh, backlinks from various forums also, but I won't recommend uh, Rahul getting backlinks from forum and from blog commenting is strictly no. Uh, I would say at this point of time, because Google is considering this as a spamming activity. All right, so you can see these are some of the uh, so, you know, one of my uh, participant, one of my student by the name of Prabhakar actually opened this particular conversation. All right. Uh, this was one conversation, another conversation, then third and the fourth one, third one being uh, created by someone else and fourth one being created by another participant, Sandeep. So Jitin said it might seem like another spam and might disregard the intention of information sharing. Absolutely. Yes. So let's say if I open one of these, you can see uh, as I open the very first thread, within the very first thread, this particular person has asked me something. Okay, they, he has asked me that I created a Google AdWord campaign for such and such website, and I modified and I got the quality score and blah blah. Then one of my trainer, which is Suman, who actually teaches at the Delhi Cent uh, Gazabad Center, rather. So uh, right, yeah. My pleasure, Rahul. So has actually gone ahead and replied to that. So in case you guys also, uh, yeah, Jitin is learning very fast. Yeah, uh, great. So you guys can also register yourself and be part of these forum. Whatever doubts or queries you have, this is a long life thing. I mean, anytime you ask a question over here in the forum, you just need to register. Once you register, you can go ahead and type in your queries. And I would, me or one of my trainer, will actually go ahead and reply. Now, this is how a forum looks like where you can have all of you. Let's say tomorrow uh, someone from you, maybe Rahul comes up or Jitin comes up or uh, Guru comes up or Aditi comes up and write in something over here, right? 
or Rishabh comes up. All of you start writing in something, it becomes a thread, a conversation thread, right? And a blog thing is very much like this, you know, uh, where me as a uh, overall, uh, what do you say, blog owner goes ahead and publish something which I want to do that. So let's say if I publish something over here as seven advert features, this is the blog post which I have entered across. The blog comes in like this, right? A blog post is going to be our overall. Okay, this is uh, the content is not there for this. So Santosh is how to create a blog and forum on website. Does it come with WordPress theme? With WordPress, absolutely there are plugins for that, Santosh. So whatever website you have, the WordPress, uh, the blog is there. With your website, the blog is right up there. For forum, uh, I can let you know what particular, what is the name of the plugin. So you need to install a plugin for that. All right. So this is one of the blog posts where you can see content is right up there. And within the content, somebody can come in and go ahead and type in whatever they want to do it. Right. I hope it makes sense, guys, uh, getting uh, the difference between forum and a blog. Right. That's the major difference. Then comes in. So, OK, maps optimization, I've already told you. Then comes in the social network part within the social network. There are things like social signals, which are called likes, comments and uh, shares and tweets and all that stuff. The way to create backlinks with the help of social networking website is like this. Uh, that's how Domino's did. Domino's created certain uh, profiles on Facebook or on LinkedIn or on Google Plus. And within these social networking websites, they started submitting across content along with the link of that website, which they were trying to rank higher, right? So the use the overall Facebook page or the LinkedIn, Twitter or Pinterest also. Pinterest also helps you do that. Right. So Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Twit uh, YouTube with YouTube, I've already shared you. So when you are submitting across content on Facebook page, make sure that you also uh, uh, mention across a URL along with it. If you're not submitting a URL, the blog, uh, sorry, the, uh, the backlink is not getting created for creation of the backlink. It's very important that the URL has to be present, has to be made part of the Facebook share or the uh, Google plus share or the Pinterest. Uh, I hope everybody knows how to work on the Pinterest and what exactly Pinterest pro, uh, website is all like. Pinterest is another social media networking website like uh, yes says uh, Aditi. All right. I hope everybody knows about that. So Guru says yes. All right. Santosh, Rishabh, Nitin says yes. All right. So Abhishek, uh, Dhruv, all right. Harshika says yes. Rahul says yes. All right. So I hope I don't need to take that. If anybody doesn't know, I can surely go ahead and let you know. So Jitin says one question. If we are placing a blog link, then won't it redirect to the absolute? It would redirect to the blog. So if you are trying to optimize your blog, then absolutely you would uh, mention your blog site, uh, your blog URL. And if you're trying to optimize your website, then have the website link. So Rishabh says no. All right. So I have to. OK, I'll take that. All right. So Pinterest guys is another social bookmarking, another uh, social networking website where you just go ahead and bookmark or upload pictures. You know, you can just go ahead and uh, up, collect as many pictures as you can. And these website, this particular website helps you to create backlinks as a search for a search engine optimizer. It helps you to create backlinks. So Pinterest.com, you can go ahead there. I'm already logged in. I have created my profile. There are two things within Pinterest guys. One is called a board and another one is called a pin. Now board is very much like you have on Facebook. You have a Facebook album. OK, and pin is very much like a pick of pick, which is part of pick, which is part of a particular particular album. All right. So one of the pick is called a pin and the overall Facebook album, just like an album is called a board. So pin, it will be like bookmarking. Yes, absolutely. Abhishek. It would be like bookmarking only. So let's say if I so the way you go ahead and upload a picture or get a backlink is on the right hand side. You can see the plus button. 
I go ahead and click on plus. It says you want to upload a pin. I say yeah, upload. I want to upload a pin, which is upload a picture, and that's how I'll create a backlink. You just have a look. I click on choose image. When I click on choose image, uh, let's say I take a particular image. So let's say I take this particular image, which is Abhijit Rai, let's say, which is one of the Google certificate. So Jitin says, but we can pin by uploading as well. Absolutely, you can. Not necessarily bookmarking. Yes, yes, yes. There are different ways. You're absolutely right, Jitin. I can go ahead and upload that and whatever I want to type in. So let's say I give I can give a hashtag. So I can write in something Abhijit Rai gets Google certified maybe and these are my boards now boards are the albums guys now this is one of my album these are some of my albums I can choose for which a particular album I want to make it part of let's say I take it uh, Google AdWords professional I go ahead and make it part of it I do the pin it part and this has got uploaded if I want to go ahead and see it I can go ahead and click over here and choose my pins 21 pins so far so within my 21 pins this is the recent one I can go ahead and edit that I can click on the uh, this pencil image the pencil icon when I click over here I can mention the website so let's say I do that so by explaining it to you I have created somehow uh, a backlink for my website right I do the save part now what happens when somebody will actually click on this you know he or she would actually go towards the website so send if I click on okay this is not how it's gonna look like okay if when I click on this particular image and I click on visit site when I click on visit site it will take me to, the, to my major website which is uh, dmpartshala.com towards which I have created the backlink. You can see that's what has opened up, right? So a backlink has got uh, created with the help of a social media website, right? A social uh, photo sharing website, you can say. All right, so this is, this is, I've just created a hashtag. I need to popularize this by having a lot of other things. Uh, posted across this all right so that's guys with uh, Pinterest and then comes in the Facebook Google Plus is pretty easy I believe not to really I don't need to spend more time onto that you can create uh, profiles over there and get that uh, going by getting a backlink then comes in all right yeah that's what I have with off page optimization guys so articles optimization Pinterest Twitter LinkedIn uh, YouTube Google Maps book social bookmarkings blogs optimization and so Rahul says mostly we promote our business through images or infographics yes we do right and Harshika says insta page uh, we did have a, a, a different session on the insta page Harshika insta page is a landing page tool yeah so yeah landing page tool so you can surely go ahead and look at into the recording of the insta page now I had a question which was about what is the difference between white uh, hat SEO and black hat SEO anybody who is aware of white hat SEO and black hat SEO techniques guys all right so okay you are aware of that but not that deep no problem so let me tell you so white hat follows Google protocols positively absolutely right Shubham so whatever we are learning right now whatever we have learned so far in terms of on page optimization or whatever we have learned so far with respect to the off page we have learned overall the white hat techniques we have learned overall white hat techniques these are the recommended techniques like Shubham did mention Rahul did also does that let's say that so 
anything which is legal which is prescribed by google are white hat techniques uh, i only teach the white hat stuff guys i can surely take a 15 minute session maybe in the next class about what all black hat te seo techniques are there so guru says as of my knowledge violating the seo standard is black hat absolutely there are many people who create, uh, do a lot of black hat techniques which are which is totally against the google algorithm uh, standards Google never ever likes that and penalizes that, those websites. Google straight away goes ahead and penalizes those websites which are using black hat SEO techniques. So uh, it was not Insta page, it is Instagram. All right. So with Instagram, it's only uh, Instagram is an app again, which is all about uh, uploading pictures just like Pinterest. But with Instagram, it's just that it works only on mobile phones, Harshika. It doesn't work on uh, what do you say the laptops or the desktops okay guru says purple hat is also there okay pink hat is what i have known pink hat is like you create various profiles which are uh, uh, feminine profiles and then from those feminine profiles you go ahead and ask people to click on your stuff or you submit across a lot of uh, backlinks on various other websites and that is about fooling people yeah, so Abhishek says, so why people use that when it is not effective? People use that uh, if they are very short-sighted, Abhishek. So if they are short-sighted and they uh, say that, I just want to rank my website up in a fraction of one month. And after one month, my website will rank up and I am just good. Uh, I don't care. I don't give a damn about uh, what happens. Earlier in 2011-2012, uh, till 2012, people were doing black hat issue techniques and they were ranking up and Google was not doing anything against them. But later on, all those websites which have been doing black hat issue techniques have started getting penalized. Many people still do it after no, despite of knowing that it is going to hurt them because they know that they want to do it only for a couple of, uh, they want to run their website only for a couple of months, not more than that, right? So... Dhruv told about that uh, purple hat. Okay, I'm not really sure about purple hat. Harshika says traffic exchange. Traffic exchange is a black hat. So uh, Harshika says like, okay, hit uh, hit leap. Okay, that's a black hat. These are certain tools, Harshika, uh, which really helps you to get backlinks. And uh, yes, Rahul did mention never use these tools. These are spamming. These are spamming thing. Never ever use these. So sir, purple hat is traffic exchange i'm not really sure on purple hat maybe i would i would educate myself on what is purple hat so i know about gray hat black hat white hat and pink hat gray hat is something which is in between the black hat and the white hat guys and pink hat is totally about creating feminine profiles and getting back things so yes Raul says it will increase your bounce rate absolutely so traffic exchange is not don't never ever go with uh, uh, traffic exchange guys Right, guys, so it's uh, 8.45. Yeah, so that's all I have for today. We started at 6.45, 6.50. Uh, I think some of you have joined in late. I did uh, actually, uh, I did change the time for the today's session. So before, I believe you joined in late and Rishabh, you uh, also joined in a bit late. Uh, we started at 6.45 and I'll upload the recorded session, guys. I would just request you to mention the feedback please i'll take your time to get feedback so guys help me out with the feedback yeah webmaster is uh, because if i'll start webmaster today it will take uh, a lot of time that's why i'm not taking it All right, guys, so I believe, uh, Guru, you don't need to do that. I'll talk to you about that. So you're, you have already got that. We have already done it for you. Okay, how many classes left? See, uh, Santosh, uh, to be honest, we were supposed to actually get this thing done by uh, maybe, you know, somewhere close to this time frame only. But we were getting a lot of, uh, uh, you know, suggestions in terms of taking this also taking that topic also so that's why it's taking time so it might take a month more it might take uh, a month more yeah four more classes right you have created an adverts campaign that's great guys help me out with the feedback 
thank you so much Shubham for that so guys uh, help me out uh, with the feedback HTTP for sure Shubham and this is the URL guys for for getting access to the feedback link I've just shared the feedback link once you're done with the feedback please let me know please let me know in the chat for a chat window once you're done with the feedback please and also to to let you know guys tomorrow we are starting a fresh batch in case you guys want to do a recap we'll start with the basics for tomorrow uh, 830 uh, 830 p.m. it's going to be tomorrow so in case you want to join right from the beginning you all are invited thank you so much Abhishek thank you so much Shubham thank you so much Guru thank you so much Harshika for the feedback thank you so much Vibhor Okay, Jatin, uh, are you connected with me on WhatsApp? You guys can connect with. So I uh, make everybody part of the WhatsApp uh, broadcast list. So Jatin, just uh, add me on to the, uh, add my number to the uh, WhatsApp. Just ping me over there. I've shared my number with you. So video would be uploaded by tomorrow morning, Harshita. By tomorrow morning, it would be there. All right. Thanks, Nitin. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, group is already there. Harshika, we'll add, I'll, I'll add you to the group. All right. So, Jitin, you can also ping me across. Rishabh, you can also ping me across. I'll make you part of the group. And Vibor, I also add you to, uh, to the part of the group. Uh, absolutely, yes, Vibor. Yes, I do upload all of them. The PPT, absolutely. Just to email me across, Jitin, I'll share the PPT with you as well. Yeah. Right, so Jitin, are you taking sessions from somewhere uh, on any of our centers, whether the Indrapuram, Kazibad, or the Delhi center, or is it only online? I'm not really sure if I have spoken to you before. So Rahul, I believe you are from the Indrapuram. Nitin, you are from, okay, you're from the Ramesh Nagar one, Jitin, all right. Nitin, uh, you're from, you're only for the, uh, are you with the same Nitin, which is with the Kazibad center, or are you the online? one I'm not really sure who's with which center all right so we have a mixed crowd here so right so you're from Ashoknagar but you are ta you're taking sessions Rahul at the Indrapuram center right yeah thank you so much Aditi and Aditi are you also from the same uh, Ramesh Nagar center only I'm not really sure I wish I could take offline I know <laughs> Sure, I'll share my email address, guys. Okay, Rahul is from. Okay, Rahul, you're. Okay, Rahul, you are that Rahul Roy, right? Okay, Nitin, you're from Ludhiana. Okay, got that. Yeah, absolutely. Sure, you can absolutely practice. Yeah, Rahul Roy. Yeah, no Roy. Okay. Mm. That's my email address, guys. And do connect with me on WhatsApp. That's the best way to connect with me. All right. So Jitin, you can uh, ping me across. Rishabh, you can ping me across, guys. On uh, absolutely, just help me out. Just remind me. I'll send you across. Uh, whether it's a PPT or the Excel sheet or whatever things, right? So Rishabh, I believe you are also hearing me out. Uh, haven't heard back from you. All right, thanks. All right, thanks, Rishabh. Thank you, Jitin. Thank you, Vibor. Thanks, Shubham. Thanks, Santosh. Thank you, Rishabh. Thank you, Rahul. Thank you, Nitin. Thank you, Jitin. Thank you, Harshika. Thanks a lot, Guru. Thanks a lot, Dhruv. Thanks a lot, Aditi. Really appreciate. Thank you so much, Abhishek. Thank you so much, guys. And all those who did join in late, I'm so sorry. Maybe uh, you got the message. Uh, you might have not seen the message, but I'll surely share across the uh, video. So I hope everybody knows where the video gets uploaded. Yeah. So video gets uploaded. on this particular URL guys. So this is the URL guys, bit.ly forward. So I've shared the URL for the videos thing. So I'll upload the video right up there. All right. All right. Thank you so much guys. It's uh, 8.51. I'll take a leave now and we'll get started with Google Webmaster and then we'll start with social media marketing 
in our next session which is going to be next saturday all right and all those who wants to be part of uh, the new batch feel free to join in tomorrow we will have a session starting from 8:30 so 8:30 tomorrow guys abhishek uh, aditi dhruv guru harshika jitin natin rahul rishabh santosh shubham and vibhor all of you it's an open invitation do join in with the same link 8:30 pm tomorrow all right we'll get connected all right guys same link will be used thank you so much everybody bye now bye